uh, before you go on to the next one, that one of the big stories that just came out today is the passing of Stan Lee. Yes, right? Stan Lee. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now he was born in 1922. Did I read that correctly? Yes, and he founded Prima Strategy. Oh wait, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was 95 years old. 95, so he, man. Yeah, so he is dead. And and my wife, who's a teacher, spoke about how at her school, like kids were visibly upset. Really? That he? I swear to you, Heather came home was like, "Did you hear?" And I'm like, "Well, yeah." I'm like, "Okay." It's crazy. Like, who's going to do a cameo in the next Deadpool movie or whatever? Now, but... are they going to use a CGI Stan Lee to show up? In I don't movies? know, man. Are they going to do like Big Hero Six and I... just like his painting will be on the wall? Yeah, or probably like a wink, wink, nod, nod yeah, thing. Yeah. So, does Stan Lee? You're a comic book guy. I'm not really a comic book mm-hmm. guy. Is the Stan Lee hold a place for you, really, or because he's a golden upset. age guy, right? Like, well, not gold. He started early seventies. Uh, probably right okay in there. like there was always a big rumor well no actually i should say 60s god i should know that uh him and uh dan dyko and jack, jack kirby. kirby yeah and there was always a rumor that him and jack kirby had a falling out because he would take a lot of credit for stuff jack kirby would do or come up with so there was always a rumor he was kind of a prick but mm. i don't know if that's true or not uh so yeah he, he's the father of x-men he's the father he's not the father of captain america and he made a set group, like Spider-Man, X-Men, and there it's a fantastic group. Fantastic Four. Uh, that core Marvel yeah. lineage is But he didn't much. come up with, like, Wolverine. He didn't come up with Venom. He didn't come up with, uh, like I said, Captain America or some of the other, or Iron Man. He, he came up with the idea to throw them all together in a, in a book. Sure. So he, it's kind of crappy in a way that he got credit for, like, Everything Marvel ever did. Okay. When he only did X amount here. Now, don't get me wrong. It, it was great in, you know... It was a fantastic job he did, but at the same time, I would like him to. How come he's the only face? You know, it's like there were other guys. Yeah. So somehow he surpassed all these people yeah, to yeah, just yeah. become the de facto like Marvel guy. Now, now he's had over the years a lot of financial problems. Hmm. So back in the seventies and eighties, Marvel didn't pay their creators or editors very much, not nearly, and there was no royalties. Okay. So, but then I think they corrected that finally in the nineties. What, what was, was kind of spurred that in the 90s was those guys walking out and making an image. Okay. So that made DC and Marvel to start being a little more lucrative to the Hey, people. understand there's some real talent yeah, here that's yeah. willing to do their own thing. Yeah, so like Jack Kirby, who he didn't come up with the concepts, but he drew everything. Like Jack Kirby was the guy that you went to when when you came you, up with you, the, have, you have this idea of yeah. these parts and how to put really, them together. The only one who didn't he didn't come up with was Spider-Man. That was Dan Detko, I think his name was. He came up with Spider Man, but Jack Kirby was Fantastic Four, True. Thor, Iron Man. He was the go to guy. Yeah. Uh, they even say thing in the Fantastic Four is based on Jack Kirby. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so so there was a lot of money issues. And then in the 90s, Stan Lee became president of Marvel and made a lot of money there. And then Marvel, if you remember, was going bankrupt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when they sold the Sony and everybody yeah. else. So he was hurting for money again. But then when the movies hit, that's when his he, he got like cult following with his weird little antics. Yeah. In the now, movies. if you remember, he tried he tried making animation studios and failed. He tried making his own comic brand and failed. Well, because and that's he the one failed thing. quite a few times. Well, if you look at it though, he, so I watched the one show that was on Sci Fi where they people brought their 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 superhero ideas to life. What was the name of that show? Oh yeah, I, that show too. I forgot. the Yeah, name of it. and but the one thing I'll tell you about, at least from my opinion as a non comic book guy. The dude just loved the whole thoughts and theories yeah, about like he, Excelsior he his, and all this stuff. Was that all, was kind of infectious. I, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I, I can respect that. I'm not trying to shit on the guy's legacy or anything, but I pretty much sound like I did. <laughs> but <laughs> that but ship I, was I just wish that a lot more people besides just him would. Get, and not against him. I, you know, then even recently before he died, he back about ten years ago invested in a movie franchise in China. Because he was going to big start making yeah. movies in China, that failed. <laughs> he got, then there was some weird screw, just recently managers. where like he sold his DNA or something like yeah, that. Did you hear all, all that? He so always, he definitely had some kooky theories. He had some, some quirk, real quirk, from two thousand on. There was really some besides his funny little cameos in the movies. Yeah, he had like business wise was doing some weird stuff that yeah. would always fail or end up in lawsuits. But now the one thing I will tell you, and and we saw it firsthand. 
Like, you could go and see Stan, at Comic Cons and stuff. He was cool with fans. Like, he, so he was just became this face, this odd face of like cult Marvel. Yeah. yeah. He definitely took the time to like, you know, live that whole lifestyle of like Comic Cons and all he that was, kind of stuff. The last Comic Con I went to it was in Chicago. Oh, the, that one, because that one gets the big stars. It was about five or six years ago, I'd say. And there was two celebrities that I saw and thought, man, they are walking death. <laughs> he is one of them. Okay. The other one was Burt Reynolds. Oh, enough. man, Steve, you're gooching. They, they looked, even uh, I looked at Michelle, I go, they look kind of rough. Like they, should be, <laughs> they look like they shouldn't be in public rough. Oh, right? wow. So In hospice rough. <laughs> yeah, so ironically enough, looking yeah, back at that, wow. I don't know. But hey, he's more about ninety five years old. He had a great life. He got to make comics and stuff for a little bit. Yeah, living, I so. was gonna say, and probably hasn't like technically had to work since the like you said the fifties or sixties. I'm you not know? sure if he has a kid. I don't think he does. He might I don't know. He's had like the same wife forever, so I know that and she looks a young chippy. Uh, she ain't that much younger. So like, oh. if he's ninety five, she's like maybe eighty. Oh, so. okay, man. So at the time, a young chippy. Yeah, but not anymore. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, more power to him. So I know yeah, uh, Kevin Smith is probably uh, oh. very sad because he loved Stanley. So I know he's probably bumming. Well, because he was probably again with with that Kevin Smith stuff. He probably because he seemed the one thing that I can say about Stanley is he didn't take himself too serious. Yeah, yeah you know he, what I mean. Like, he's in on the joke. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And that's kind of cool. Like, he wasn't like, listen, man, yeah, like, yeah. you know, respect who brought comics to what they are. He's just like, hey, man, superheroes, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Let's, I can respect let's that. Let's do it, yeah. 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 So, Stan Lee, 95, uh, everyone calls him pretty much the father of Marvel and blah, blah, blah. So, But you you want an asterisk next to that as your contention. Yeah, I'm just saying, let's, let's recognize some of the other guys, you know? Yeah. Uh, he wasn't the only one. It's not like he was up till midnight every night writing them all and then drawing <laughs> them all. Just cranking right? on them. Yeah, he wrote a couple of them. And then my thing about him, I always it cracks me up, is all his characters always had the same the first and last name. Always had Peter Parker, Bruce Banner. He always uh, did that so he can remember. The, pop, 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 pop. They always said he yeah. did that so he can that he can remember the names better. Wow. That, that that's why like there was a lot of Bruce Banners, Peter Parker. There, there was a bunch of them. They had the same letter for first and last names. Wow. I thought that was funny. 